If you come to York Races, the place to meet is at the Jim Crack Stand. And it's one of the most amazing buildings in, in all of racing with those blue and red and white barbershop stripes, the balcony. And the wonderful thing about it is it's so small. It's absolutely tiny compared to any other stand. And that's perfect because the horse it's named after is one of the smallest horses in racing history. <laughs> Jim Crack, born in 1760. He was just 14 hands, pony size. And here he is. This is the famous George Stubbs picture of Jim Crack at Newmarket, 1765. He'd only been racing two years. It was his second year racing. He didn't run to him as a four-year-old. He was actually a bit of a runt of a thing. And here's all the stuff about him. It's quite interesting, is it? This is 1766. So he's six year old then. He was sold and taken to France. And wait for this. He ran a match of 22 and a half miles within the hour for a very considerable sun. Now, 22 and a half miles is, is, is York to Harrogate. It's London to Leatherhead. 22 and a half miles in the hour. He pushed to do it in the car, certainly not with the traffic nowadays. A remarkable little horse. This is wonderful. <laughs> it's one of the very best views in racing. I think it's one of the very best views in, in sport. And it's uh, one of the lovely quirky things about Jim Crack in the story is that actually he only ran twice at York and didn't win either time. So it really, but York's taken him to heart. By 1767, there was a Jim Crack club named his honor. They've had a dinner where they have a sort of mansion house speech about the state of racing. This year, it'll be made by Ed Chamberlain of all people. <laughs> And there's some great horses who run up here in the race named in his honour. But the best of all, I think, was Mill Reef in 1970. And that day, overnight, it poured and poured with rain and everyone was very doubtful. And he literally spun up the turf. It was a horse winning 10 lengths over six rows, which was almost unheard of. And you knew then you'd seen a freak and something that would live on. And it was a brilliant thing to have in the name of Jim Crack.